This right here is the scale 118 Maisto Nissan 350Z S2. Pretty good car by Maisto. Um, this particular one isn't mine, but I'm borrowing for the review, and rightfully so. Um, it has excellent details throughout the car. And of course, being the same Maisto price of around $25 to $30, it's quite a bargain. So let's get started on the details here. Well, actually, first I want to mention that there are two versions of this by Maisto. So there is just the regular Nissan 350Z and the S2 version. The S2 version is it's, it's essentially a track tuned um, 350Z stock. It has some minor factory upgrades, including you know the, the wheels and, and the various decals throughout the car. This one in particular looks kind of random sitting up there, but it just it does separate it from the pack. It also has a variety of the S2 logos. Not much, no engine modifications, but um, it is ever so slightly power, more powerful due to the fact that it has different exhaust and other minor changes like that. The other Maisto is, I believe, orange. I think that's the only color it comes in. And it's not sold very often, so you're more likely to find the S2. So if we get started here on the outside detail, you can see that headlight, there's the, there's the little peg. It's not too um, invasive because it's not sticking right out of the, um, the bulb. But the bulb, like that, like the last car I reviewed, uh, the Mercedes-Benz SL63 AMG, the bulb kind of molds with the chrome background and it just it lacks the, the depth that you'd like to see. Not quite sh I mean, Maisto's done better, especially with their Carrera GT. It almost looked real. And then we have that, the turn signal right there, which is actually textured. Nissan, Nismo. And there's that decal. Now this is not a sticker, it is painted on. You can feel it, it's risen over, but it's definitely um, heat sealed onto there, so that's not a worry of that coming off. It's actually reflective. Pretty good. Very nice wheels. I would like to have this on my on my scale one one car. Uh, these they're very very nice, very well done. They have the Nismo written on it. And same thing. This doesn't move with the wheel. Z. Another S tune logo. This is, this looks pretty realistic right here. This license plate was added on, by the way. Tail lights lack detail inside at all. It's just because it's a very it's almost kind of a matte color. It's not painted. It is it is plastic. It just it doesn't look realistic. You can't see anything on the inside. Pretty decent sized trunk here. A big stabilizer bar with the with the Z written on it, but notice that throughout the interior you have. Let's see if I can zoom in so you can see it better. Yeah, see, it has a nice texture throughout it, almost almost like you'd actually have in the real car. It's not leather; it's just the way they have the plastic, and it does look very nice. Everything does open in this car as I believe I've already shown. V6, 3.5 liters. One big hunk of plastic all molded together with a few paint splotches all throughout the place. Um, you can't go, you can't see through it. It's just, you get these black, uh, it's just, it stops. You just can't go down. You know what I mean. So it does lack um, very or, um, some good detail there. Underneath, not lacking any good detail because it's pretty good. The transmission is just connected to the bottom, um, like you'd expect, along with the drive shaft. But you do have all the you do have a good amount of components 
um, in here as well as the chrome exhaust that goes to the rear also looks pretty good now this this exhaust is specialized for the s-tune specifically to give it a little more power the differential there as long uh, as um, along with the suspension components not a bad underbody definitely you can see right here it's a uh, it's differently colored it is metal this body kit and we're going to continue with some of the really good detail highlights about this car on the interior because while it is mostly all black there all the buttons are colored in and the seats actually differ in color from the background and the floor which is nice to see because a lot of the times it's all the same color and it just doesn't look realistic at all now you can see the GPS screen right here there's nothing on it sometimes model manufacturers like to put that on it but not this one I'm not sure offhand if this was a premier edition Maisto or a special edition but they do, they do add a good amount of detail especially along here there's that um, the texture I was mentioning earlier there's another one nice interior no if you actually look in the slide you can see that it actually has a perforated leather seat that's pretty good a lot of the finer details they put in this this car if it was a special edition they did a pretty good job on it so overall very good car if you're into the Nissan 350Z it's a good looking car um, from I believe this is a 2006 model definitely worth getting if you're interested alright thanks for watching